Hi, students and parents. My name is Michaela Argo, and I'm the 21st Century Scholar Corps AmeriCorps member here at the University of Southern Indiana. I'm going to go briefly through what you need to know about being a 21st Century Scholar here at USI. I am sorry that I don't get to meet all of you uh, in person at an orientation, but if you have any questions, my email will be at the end and feel free to email me. So first I'd like to address what exactly your scholarship covers. It covers 30 credit hours per year, so up to 15 credit hours per semester in the fall and the spring, uh, and it does pay for the university service fee. However, it doesn't pay for a lot of additional fees. So the reason that the university service fee is covered is because it's a generalized fee that regardless of the school you would attend within the state, they will have a university service fee. But the rest of the fees that will be on your school bill, such as a housing, meal plan, uh, activity fees, lab fees, etc., won't be covered because they aren't generalized per institution. They're specific to the University of Southern Indiana here. So here at USI, after you attend for a year, you are eligible for the textbook award as a 21st century scholar. It's $200 a year, so $100 per semester, and it is refundable. So this is the fun slide. <laughs> uh, what are the requirements to maintain your 21st century scholarship once you're in college? First is before you hit 59 credit hours, your GPA requirement is 1.8. However, after that 59 credit hour mark, your GPA requirement is 2.0. You must be enrolled full time, which is a minimum of 12 credit hours in fall and spring semesters um, and be in good academic standing at an eligible Indiana institution. So USI would count as that. Um, but with being enrolled full time in 12 credit hours, that only gets you to 24 credits. So it's important to remember that you have to earn 30 credits per academic year to maintain that scholarship. The last thing is the College Scholar Success Program, which we'll go over in a little bit. So this slide just explains that it's 30 credit hours total, regardless of how you split it up per semester. So it doesn't have to be 15 and 15. It can be 14 and 16. You can even take some in the summer to help hit that 30 credit hour mark. It just needs to be 30 within the year. Some courses don't hold credit bearing weight here at USI, but credits are assigned to them for your 21st century scholarship, and those are called remedial courses, and your scholarship will cover up to 12 hours of those during your first year only. So when it comes to earning your total 30 credits required, a letter grade of a D does count. You did pass the class, you earned the credit, but it's important to remember that if it's a prerequisite of another class that requires a C or above, you might not be able to move on. In addition, a lot of majors require a C or above in certain classes, so note that as well. So let's say you earn a D in a class that you need a C or above in. That first time you take it, it's counted, for your 30 credits and it's paid for. That second time it's counted and paid for. The third time you take a class, even if you earn a D or above, it's not paid for and it's not counted. Regardless of the time you take the class, if you earn an F, it's not counted towards those 30 credit hours. And a withdrawal doesn't count towards those two attempts, but it will count towards the completion percentage, which is important because that feeds into your satisfactory academic performance. So one way you can use your scholarship in the summer is if you have additional aid to help hit your 30 credit hours. So if you took 13 credit hours in the fall and 13 in the spring and you did four in the summer, that could be used. Another example would be Fast Track, which helps you graduate early. Once you get to USI, it's best to talk to the Scholar Corps AmeriCorps member here about that option and how it can be applied to you. Credits from transfer, AP, CAP, or dual credit classes will go into your credit bank in ScholarTrack. And these are able to be pulled automatically to help you hit your 30 credit hours any year that you might be short. If you do not complete the 30 credit hour requirement, you may be eligible for a reduced award. That's based on family income and the required credit hours are listed here. If something unexpected happens in your life that as a result doesn't allow you to meet the requirements to maintain your scholarship, you can file an appeal to seek to get that aid back. If you have questions about that appeal process, it's best to reach out to the Scholar Corps member or the financial aid office. If at any time you think you might need to take time off of school, 
I would encourage you to pause <laughs> and read this slide through. I just want to point out that you have only eight years from the time that you start using state financial aid to use the full eight semesters worth of your student aid. So this slide just highlights the various things you can use your ScholarTrack account for. I do want to ensure that you all upgrade your account before you come to college. Your ScholarTrack account, you'll be able to check whether your student aid has been processed. So your 21st century scholarship has been approved and made available for your university. You'll be able to check your credit bank on ScholarTrack. You'll be able to file an appeal and check the status of that appeal. And then the really big thing is you'll be able to complete that college scholar success program that's required to maintain your scholarship year to year. So this is the college scholar success program. It is required to complete in order to maintain your scholarship for all four years of your university experience. It's something that we'll definitely go through once you get to USI, and updates and reminders will be sent out periodically. In order to help you successfully complete the College Scholar Success Program, we put together a roadmap to success for all of our 21st century scholars. If you go to your MyUSI page and click on Eagle Sync, you can search for 21st Century Scholars and join our page. And if you go to the files on our page, you'll be able to save, print, um, do really whatever you want with this roadmap. The goal of this was to help you successfully complete your College Scholar Success Program with ease, but also includes step-by-step, year-by-year information that our Career Services puts out to help you be better prepared once you graduate as well. This is my contact information. If you do have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm really excited for you and look forward to seeing you as a Screaming Eagle.